down uh, in Mississippi last year, working on the NEH grant, she met Charles McLaurin, who was uh, the campaign manager for, uh, for uh, Ms. Hamer. And they exchanged correspondence over the past year, and this is one email he sent her. Greetings, Mrs. Cooper. Ms. Cooper. It was wonderful to hear from you. I'm delighted to know that you did the research and learned about my letter to President Kennedy back in the 60s. To have a song produced for my letter is almost too unbelievable. I wrote the letter to President Kennedy because I'm having trouble trying to get black people in the Mississippi Delta to register to vote in the 1960s. It was said that Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy's election had been helped by the action you took to assist the efforts to free Dr. Martin Luther King from jail in Birmingham, Alabama. My mindset was that the newly elected president, helped by a large black vote, would use the power of his office to help black Americans secure the right to vote. After I sent the letter, I forgot all about it. And then I think it was back in early 2000, a friend who had been in the black voting struggle in the Mississippi Delta found the letter while doing research for a special project and informed me about it. She sent me a copy, but I lost it by passing it from person to person. I would appreciate a copy. <laughs> <laughs> I now know the significance of history, thanks to Keep the Faith McLaurin.
So grand and fine, big, broad, warm, black, old, strong, Miss Hamer was her name. We were glad, enriched, and full, inspired by her being, her voice, her smile, her heart, her style, her being, Fanny Lou. The woman we knew and flew, sang and grew pain, and knew more and more.
A Mirror to the South, for Emmett Lewis Hill, by Will Inman. The dead child's face still watches us who saw its mutilation. We dare not forget it. For deeper than his wounds, he holds a raw mirror to our own negligence. Regret is an empty word at a child's new grave. Revenge, the vain trumpet of wasted hours. <clears throat> Anger, tears, frustration. Those can save others, but for till are his last flowers. From now on, in Mississippi, in the South. Let our white faces wear the cardinal stain of guilt along the edges of our mouth. Asked of our brothers, we bear teeth of Cain. So let it be until no human face wear anguish for its creed nor for its race.
wish you had commended the Negro sinners and the demonstrators of Birmingham for their sublime courage and their willingness to suffer.
we shall not be, we shall not be moved, we shall not be, we shall not be moved, we, we shall, shall not be moved, we shall not be moved, we, we shall, shall not be moving, we shall not be moved, we, we shall, shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. We shall, we shall, we shall not, not be moved. We shall not be moved. We shall, we shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. We shall, we shall not be moved. 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 We shall not be moved.
you tonight to return home to say a prayer for the family of Martin Luther King. But more importantly, to say a prayer for our own country, which all of us love. A prayer for understanding and compassion, of which I spoke. Keep 
fighting. Soon freedom will take hardship's place. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Sometimes the light will look dim. But keep it up. Don't get discouraged. Keep fighting, though chances seem slim. In the end, you and I know that one day the facts still face. <coughs> and realize we're human too. That freedom's taking slavery's place.